Hey guys, welcome back to the Within Yoga YouTube channel. I'm Sarah, and in this session, we're gonna be going through a relatively short 20 minute full body opening flow. A lot of what we teach is a bit more on the yang side um, or on the kind of restorative yin side. So this is somewhere in between. So kind of we're gonna start slow, wake up our body, get into basically a full body stretch, full body opener. So let's go, we're gonna start in a downward facing dog. I would recommend having two bricks, especially if your hamstrings are tight. So I'm gonna give you a moment just to go grab them. And then we'll meet in our downward dog. And sway as you need. Maybe start with the knees bent, focusing on lengthening the spine, pointing the tailbone high. Ribs draw in. Start to pad through the hands, so press the fingertips down, press the palms down. And just as you arrive onto your mat, try and feel that sense of grounding. Grounding through your right hand, right fingertips. Grounding through the left. Through the right foot. Through the left foot. And notice how just that simple focus on where your skin meets the floor helps Settle the mind helps focus the mind. And let's take a deep breath in. Release. Deep breath in. Exhale. And let's do one more inhaling. Exhaling. Amazing, let's ripple forward into our plank on our inhale. Knees drop. Exhale, check your hands are underneath your shoulders, your bum is directly over your knees, or your hips are over your knees. Spreading your fingers once again and just gently rocking back and forth, starting to warm up through our wrists. And in yoga, our wrists tend to take quite a bit of body weight. So it's always just good to give them a bit of love, a bit of attention. Fingertips point from side to side and we gently rock left and right. And then back of the hands down, fingertips point in. Again, we lean to the right, stretching through the left arm, come through center, and then lean in the other way. Amazing, then from here, fingertips point forward. Tuck your toes, squeeze your bum, Inhale, we arch the back, taking it into a cow pose. Shoulder blades pull back, bum sticks out, navel draws in. Exhale, push the floor away, chin to chest. Inhale, arch. So it's quite easy just to go through the motions in this one. If you really tune into your spine, push on your exhale and try and move through sections. So bum sticks out, tummy drops down, heart lifts and pulls through, head lifts. Tuck the tailbone, round through the middle back, then round through the upper back, chin to chest. Let's do that two more times, starting with the bum. It's almost like a wave, like motion through the spine. Push the floor away. One more, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. From here, neutral spine again. Left hand comes underneath your face. Bring your hands to your lower back. And I just want you to feel how level your hips are here. Push down through your knees and try and pull your knees apart gently. You should feel your bum firing up on both sides. Good. We keep that. And for this next move, the spiral comes from above our belly button. So on your inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, thread the right arm through. Reach as far as you can. Inhale up, twist and open. And this can be quite intense. Reach through, try and lift the palm up. So you're hugging your bicep up towards your chest. Three more, breathe in. Breathe out. Just a nice gentle twist. Still building intensity, building heat, but nothing too aggressive. And then we reach, bring the right hand down, bring your cheek down, press your fingertips into the floor. 
And you stretch here actually by pressing your left arm, sorry, your right arm down into the ground for three. If you want to have a play, you can straighten the left leg and lift it. But maybe just stay with stillness is cool. Two. One, perfect. Left hand down, right arm reaches all the way up. Bring your right hand down. Let's do a cat cow to reset. Breathe in. Breathe out. Coming to neutral spine again. Right hand underneath your face, left hand to lower back. Push through the right arm, and then we try and twist, pull your knees apart, and then we reach through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach through. I think we've got one more. Inhale, reach up, and we reach through. So in this pose, we're focusing on twisting through our spine. Gentle opening through the shoulders. If you did it on the other side, you can straighten the right leg, lift it up. So we're also building in a bit of balance. Three. Two. One. Right hand down, left arm up. And bring your left hand down. Cat cows, inhale, arch. Exhale, push. And then inhale, arch the back. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, ripple forward into plank. Exhale, drop your knees. Stick your bum out like you're coming into a cow pose. Chest and chin down to between the hands. Pause here for a second. Pull your tummy in. Stick your bum out. Pull your shoulders back. And gently press down into your hands. Good, and then from here, push forward. We're gonna take it into an up dog. You can keep your hips on the ground here and just gently sway from side to side. Squeezing your bum will just help you get into your hip flexors a bit more. Maybe bending your elbows will take some of the pressure out of your lower back if you feel it. And you don't want to jam yourself into any of your joints. Just gently moving into them. One more breath. And then we're going to push back into child's pose. Breathing in. Breathing out. On your inhale, send your hips to the right. So send them so far over that you find a sensation and a stretch through the right outer hip. As you exhale, hips drop, chest lifts. Hips to the left. And bum to heels. Let's go again, hips left. Hips drop, heart lifts. Hips to the right. Bum to heels. Then look forward, we glide ourselves through into an upward facing dog again. You can keep it a bit more passive like we just did or active if you wanna lift the hips, lift the knees. Downward facing dog, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. On your inhale, right leg sweeps high to the sky into a three-legged dog. Place your foot between the hands, back knee down. So this is where the bricks can be handy. Grab hold of the bricks, frame your right leg, and just pause here for a second. So there's a few things going on that we wanna focus on. One is squeezing the left glute, so we find that left hip flexor stretch. The other actually is getting into your ankle. Ankles are super important, your feet carry us all day. So let your knee go in front of the toes, so you're getting into the ankle, but you're also getting into the calf muscle. But as you do that, make sure you're pressing down through the ball of the right big foot. The ball of the right big foot. The ball of the right foot. For three. And then we draw the hips back. We're gonna take it into our half split. So you can shimmy your right foot forward, 
Flex the ankle. This is super important. You don't want the leg just to hang out. Look forward and fold. Pushing down through the right heel, drawing the right hip back. And when it comes to these strong sensations like hamstrings, there is an element of just having to sit with the sensation. Ho and I released a video on how to stretch, the importance of stretching, so you should definitely check that out. One more breath. And then slowly come forward. Place the brakes out to one side. We're gonna step back into our plank. Drop the knees, drop the chest, sticking the bum out. So working on our spinal mobility. Push through into an upward facing dog of your choice, passive, active, child's pose. Side body stretch, send your hips to the left, shoulders to the right. Keep going, it's like a circle with the hips. Hips drop, heart lifts, head lifts. Hips to the right. Bum to heels and we reverse. Hips to the right. Hips drop, heart lifts. Hips to the left. And down. Glide through, breathe in. So everything's slow, everything's sensual. Everything just gives us time and space to feel, to check in, to gently move and gently open our body. Breathing in, breathing out. This time it's the left leg that's gonna reach high into three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your foot between the hands, back knee down. Grab those bricks again. Rise up, get into right hip flexor, left ankle, left heel presses down, left ball of foot presses down. You might feel this in your calf muscle as your knee goes forward. And use your breath to stay. And then slowly draw your hips back. Ankle goes forward, foot flexed, fold over the leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep trying to flatten the lower back. Find the sensation, and once you find the sensation, we test our edge. Take a breath in, and fold. Amazing, and from here you can place your bricks out to one side, framing the left leg. We step it back into our plank once again. Knees drop, stick the bum out, pull the belly in, chest down between the hands. Breathing in, stick your bum up higher, breathing out. And then we push through into our upward facing. Child's pose. And then hips to the right, hips lower, hips to the left, moving gently and back, hips to the left, lower, hips to the right, and back. Now from here we're slowly going to roll up through the spine. Again, you can use your bricks here to help. If you're like me and you've got short arms. Or you can reach your fingertips to the floor. So press your left hand into the brick or into the ground. We're gonna reach our right arm up and then lean over to the left. Breathing in. So 
just finding that rib cage stretch. Two. One. Then from here, slowly rise up. Bring the right hand outside of the left leg. You can adjust your brick back behind you. And just a gentle twist, pressing the left hand into the brick. Right hand into left leg. Gaze over left shoulder. And then slowly go, come forward. Switch. So the brick comes out of the right hand, outside of the right leg. Put the right hand on it. Left arm up. And then we lean to the right. Again, find the sensation and breathe into it. Amazing, slowly rise up. Right arm is gonna come up, right fingertips come in between the shoulder blades. Gently stretching a bit more through the side of the body, but also adding in our triceps and maybe our lats a bit more. If you can, push your head into your arm. Maybe even use your fingertips pressing between your shoulder blades as a guide to lift your chest. Amazing, and then we switch. So shake it out in between. Grab left arm with right hand, push head into the arm, lift the chest. Amazing, then slowly from here we release. On your inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back. Open the chest. Breathe in here. And then as you exhale, release the hands, reach them forward, clasp them, and chin to chest, rounding the spine, push your palms forward. Good, and then slowly we release, move the bricks out of the way. Bring your hands down. We're going to take it back into downward facing dog, focusing on the hips. Right leg up, right hand, right foot comes outside of right hand. And let's take it into lizard pose. Dropping your back knee here is cool or keeping it off the ground, whichever suits you. Hands down, elbows down, just gently rocking back and forth. And from here, slowly push down. Drop your left heel down to the ground. Press your right hand into the floor or brick. We're gonna take it into extended side angle. Reaching your left arm overhead. Just gentle opening through the right hip. Stretch through the left hip flexor. Pull your right hip back. And from here, slowly. And from here, slowly bring the left hand down, flex your left foot, and we're taking it into ninja squat. It's okay if the right heel is off the floor, but push the right knee wide, just going into the hips a bit more. And then when you're ready, using your hands for support, bring your bum down, grab hold of the right ankle with the left hand and reach over. And grabbing the foot is actually not the point. The point is finding the stretch through the right side body. And then we slowly sweep our hands back to the top of the mat, framing the right foot, step back. And downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Same on the left, left leg lifts. Left foot outside of left hand. 
back knee down, maybe even just to set up, see how it feels. And then maybe knee lifts, maybe elbows down. And then pushing up into your hands, right heel drops, maybe come onto left fingertips inside of the left foot, push left arm, left leg together, right arm reaches over, we lean back to once again find that side body stretch as well as the left hip opener. And then from here, both hands down. Adjust your left foot slightly, so it's at a diagonal, pointing towards the top right corner of your mat. Right heel pushes down, right foot flexed. Take it into your ninja squat, using your left elbow to push your left knee wide. And then we drop our bum down, grab hold of left ankle with right hand, left arm reaches over. And just finding that side body stretch. And then from here, we rise up. We bring our hands to the top of the mat we step back into downward dog, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, look forward. Let's just bring our feet down, crossing our shins. Come to seated. Send your legs out in front of you straight. Grab hold of the feet, the shins, whatever is available and gently fold it down. So there's two ways of doing this pose. You can do it actively by pulling on the feet and drawing yourself forward, trying to flatten the back, keeping your leg muscles active. Or you can do it more yin, where you just drop down, let everything go floppy. You choose your variation, and we're just going to be here for five breaths together. Amazing, then slowly roll down onto your back, coming into a brief rest pose, allowing yourself this few moments of stillness. So let's take a deep breath in, release, and let go. And then when you're ready, wriggling fingers, toes, having a stretch. Pull yourself into a little ball, give yourself a big hug. Tell yourself well done for taking the time, for stepping onto your mat. And let's come up to a seated position. Joining your hands into prayer, closing your eyes for a moment. Taking a deep breath in, exhale. Lifting your thumbs to your forehead and let's bow our heads down together in gratitude and in celebration. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me for that gentle full body opener. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoy what we're doing here on Within Yoga, please like and subscribe. Can't wait to see you guys soon.